to you. God bless. And once again, we have a beautiful morning of sunshine. What a joy it is to be once again going to the Word of the Lord on a Tuesday morning and a pastoral chat. I'd like to share with you one of my favorite scriptures of the book, out of the book of Philippians 3 and 16, where the writer said, Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. I remember some of the old timers had a saying, which was simply this, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've always been one who enjoyed every little new gadget that comes along that somehow promises to ease the challenges of life. However, there are some things that are hard to improve upon. When I think of the fork or the spoon or perhaps maybe even a pencil or a paper, a pencil and paper never crashes like the new modern day computers. Notes seem to keep and tend to never change when they're put on paper. And it looks like the wheel, which we all depend upon, is going to hang around for a few more centuries. That being said, it seems that the Apostle Paul was implying to those at the Church of Philippi that those principles and those things that had brought them to that level of spiritual growth would continue to work if they would continue to work them. What he was doing, he was war, war, uh, warning them against a generation of people that he spoke of in the next verse or two. In Philippians 3 and 19, he said, Because there's a generation whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. There's a generation of those, he said, who seem to glory in the fact that they are doing things that are even shameful sometimes, but they have gotten over the sense of condemnation or guilt that in the past would have been attached to such acts or crimes. He said they're wrapped up in earthly things. I heard a news commentator recently make a statement, and he said, we have become a nation of feelings. He said it doesn't matter about facts and principles. If enough people repeat something enough times, he said people will believe it and embrace it emotionally and even defend it. Even at the cost, he said, of abandoning truth and ethics. I find that this is no doubt of the day and hour that you and I are living in. I think we need to look back upon the old-fashioned principles and truths that brought us to where we are as a society and as a nation. Good things that require honesty and truth, built upon temperance and perseverance, and responsibility. Those are the things that have made America what it is. Good hard work and being responsible and loving truth. Those are the things that have produced a generation of people that have produced a nation that is the lighthouse to the rest of the world. But I see some wrapped up in the feelings of this moment that are trying to tear away at the foundations of what has made America great. I would say to each of them, as the Apostle Paul said to the church of Philippi, he said, those things which we've already attained to, he said, let's continue to do those things. Let's walk by the same rule and let's continue to mind the same things. There's a lot about America that's not perfect, but there's a whole lot about it that's not broke and it doesn't need to be fixed. It just needs a generation of those that'll appreciate truth hard work, dedication, temperance, and responsibility, and we'll continue to go forward as a great country. And not only as a great country, but I believe we're going forward as a great church. God bless you today. It's great to be once again with you, and I can't go forward without mentioning, my, what a wonderful time we had in our services this past weekend. Wonderful presence of the Lord Sunday morning. I felt it on my heart to minister that message the importance of a having a starting place. And if you get a chance, and perhaps you've got a friend, you could share that message with them. And then also, of course, coming back and enjoying the wonderful time we had together Sunday night. We look forward to seeing all of our families. We hope very soon that you can make it out to the house of the Lord. I'd like for you to remember my father today, Howard McGuire. 
He's in the hospital at Regional. He had a successful hip surgery, and he's recovering. I had the opportunity to be with him yesterday and to help him eat his lunch. I walked in just as they had set his lunch there in front of him, and he's still under the influence of the medication from the surgery, and he was struggling a little bit with his silverware, but I felt like the Lord just had me there at the right time to help him get his meal and get a few bites down, and I believe he's on the road to improvement. But we also want to remember our good brother Bill Hicks and Sister Ardell and Sister Joe and Brother James Hill and Brother Gene Hill, and we're remembering the, the Webb family, all of our seniors, and I know we're hearing the sounds of the possibilities of the reoccurring spikes of the uh, COVID-19, but I really honestly believe in my heart that God has got this all under control, and I believe we need as a church to focus on going forward because God is getting us ready for that great catching away. We look forward to seeing you in our services tonight, 7 o'clock, of course, is our prayer time. Wednesday, up close and personal, 7 o'clock. We certainly in, encourage all of our families to be a part of that. It's not a lengthy service. It's very short. But my, you're going to get some very rich inspiration out of that service that comes from the testimonies of our saints. So don't miss that. And then, of course, our weekend service, 10 o'clock Sunday morning for our Bible study and also for Sunday school. And then, of course, Sunday afternoon for our evangelistic service. God bless you. I want to say once again, uh, thank you for all your kindness and expressions for our birthday and uh, also celebrating our anniversary. The Lord bless you. We love you. Look forward to seeing you in the house of God. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay prayerful, and go with God. The Lord bless you.